Hello, this is 911. How can I help I'm you? At, I'm at Berkey Hall and my class was shot at. Do you see who's shooting? No, yes, I was a part of it. Aaron, did you hear that? Are you injured? No, no my friend. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you see who's shooting? How many shots did you hear? Do you know what kind of injuries they have? I don't think you all be breathing. Who's shooting right now? Is somebody shot? You know, you never think it's going to happen to you until it does happen to you. But it's a moment when you realize this is like real, people's lives are at stake. What surprised me was that I wasn't surprised. You know, it feels like not even a matter of if, but when this is going to happen. The night of the shooting, I was in the middle of taking a chemistry exam. I was at practice at I Am Circle. My friend texted me. She was like, hey, there's an active shooter on campus. I remember seeing the alert. Which wasn't like super un like super crazy because we get notifications and emails that there are shooters like around campus. But I saw this and I it read on campus. I looked at my phone and it was a screenshot of an email that said, run, hide, and fight. Eventually, some woman who works at the I Am Circle came in and she was very panicked. That's when the panic really set in and then I was like, okay, this is like actually real. We had to hide in my dorm for like, in the bathroom for four to five hours. We got down to the basement and we sat like in the locker room area. and make sure that okay. you guys just barricade the door until we can get somebody there. Our first instinct was to just barricade the door. Standing in the middle of my window, uh, just looking outside at like the mass police cars. It was a mass flood of people coming out of uh, Acres Hall. Acres Dining Hall? Holy Dude! Holy Oh my God! Police officers that were with us didn't like want to let us go. Like it was hard to know that like the coast was clear. They had us walk upstairs with our hands in the air. And I was thinking about those kids. I just kept like not to be like that, but I was just thinking about them dead on the ground. It's just again that frantic terror, anger, all of those emotions so fast when you're. I just let my kid grow up, and and then this happens. When when you realize that. It could have been you, it could have been your friends, and it is our Spartan family that it happened to. It becomes way more real. Even the next morning after, when parents were picking their kids up from the dorms, it was just an odd, like, empty feeling on campus. It's so eerie. It was really hard to walk around or everyone was going home so I guess the one thing you could say it was extremely quiet. It felt like everything was going to be different forever in a horrible way. Like it didn't feel like I was going to ever be able to go back to school and it be normal. A week is not enough to heal from what happened. The world can't just stop and I think that's honestly like in a way that's really sad because people need to heal and like going back to like the environment that like I'm still processing was really terrifying. Obviously today, people are still healing and that hurt will never go away and it just is a reminder everywhere you go. It was really hard because we were able to go back to the classes and the victims were not. So we were very grateful for that. But it was really hard. <laughs> to this day, there's st I'm like, I don't feel comfortable being here. I don't want to be here and I'm sure that hundreds of others, that if not thousands of other kids feel the same way. It's always kind of in the back of my mind, just like, you know, you have to eat and drink. That's always in the back of your mind. It's kind of like that. Every place I go, I still look for an escape route just in case. I sit by doors and lecture halls. I'm like sitting and wondering where is the best spot for me in this room if something were to happen. I guess, like campus is still home. I. I definitely wanted to come back. I was ready to come back. I think as long as you surround yourself with the right people and with the right mindset, it'll only get better. The community and the bonds between students here go deeper. There was an organization called Free Mom Hugs, and they coordinated just an amazing, positive welcome back to the students.
It was like a nice day. Everyone was outside, and there was like families from around Lansing, like having barbecues, handing out hot dogs, like mm -hmm. handing out gift cards. It's like you want to connect with the people around you and like try and focus on the positives, but you also have to realize like this is a real thing and it happens every day in America. It feels like not even a matter of if, but when this is gonna happen. In the back of my head, like knowing that I don't get to see my siblings as much, it's hard, this makes me like actually really emotional. Knowing that like anything could happen, and it's so weird because I don't even think about like myself, like being in another like mass shooting because I know it's more likely for them to experience it than me to experience it a second time. I heard like a pop sound and I like looked over at the pier and I just saw like something fall. And then I like kept looking and looking and then I just saw everybody running. And the thing I saw fall at the end, at the end of the pier was a man. It was very quick in comparison to MSU, like MSU's four hours. And that was like probably a minute and a half, two minutes. I was going back to school and I got a text from my best friend saying, hey, there's an active shooter at the high school, don't come back. My brother was actually in the hallway and his classroom got shot into. He was all right, everyone in the classroom was all right, but I still can't believe it happened. There's no way that I went through it, that my classmates went through it. But you're so excited for them to go and be young adults and have some freedom and then to have that rug just yanked so quickly and again just that anger that they have to go through this probably check on my kids more where are they what are they doing are they okay you know a lot of those conversations way more than you ever thought you needed to have you just hope that nobody else has to go through that